Hmm. I want to drop off an item, but I don't know which one. I guess the knife. It's not really that useful. I was kind of just using it because I had it. Well, what should I do now? If you go out to search for the other members, how about letting me come with you? Oh. She's gonna get eaten by zombies. She's gonna get eaten by zombies. All right, let's do it. Yes, sir. I'll do my best. I have to prepare something. Would you like to go ahead? Oh. Okay. Um, I guess I'll explore onwards. And I'll try dodging zombies now. See how that works out. The door, 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 check the door. Whew. Carving of an armor, okay. So I don't have to worry about that yet. Mm, I don't like you. You're looking at me funny. Ooh, you're looking at me even funnier, but... Okay, that's one zombie dead. And the other ones I can just avoid. Uh-oh, I don't like the sound of this room. It sounds gassy. Hello, Mr. Plant. Ah! ah! Goodbye, Mr. Plant. You're not very friendly. It didn't hurt me too much, though. Well, there's no way to get past that thing right now. I guess it's back to exploring. We've filled up so many rooms with puzzles, and... There's just nothing I can do quite yet. Ooh, will I get past him? Mm, I won't get past him. <laughs> you bit me. I'm not a very nice person. I can get past this guy, however. Ooh, where does this lead? Do I get to go backwards? Or return to a previous area? Oh ho! We're back in this hallway. That is perfect. Because I'm going to grab some ink ribbons so I can save my games. My, my game. I can make multiple saves of my game. Yes. Oh, hey, and there's that broken statue. Yes, there is. You're just not looking hard enough. Hell yes can hawk this thing for so much cash, you wouldn't even believe it. Screw this job. I can retire off this blue jewel. No, not really. I would like to, though. Okay. Now we have an ink ribbon. We have two ink ribbons. I'll give you three. Damn it, Chris. You're handicapped in every way, aren't you? Um. Yeah, I think I'm just going to grab this one and drop off my items at the save point. Because that's a sword door. But I don't want to go in there with the full inventory know what fabulous prizes await those who are prepared. Repaired? Like the helicopter? It was repaired recently, but it broke anyway. Alright, I will return when I have returned to this room. Wait a minute, where did Rebecca go? Oh, damn it, where did she run off to? I guess it doesn't matter. 
she dies, it's not my fault. So I think I'll take this opportunity to save my game. Rank be damned. Alright, and... Well, I don't know. I kind of want to check out another room on the way, but I'm not sure if I use the blue jewel there. I just have an inkling. I suppose I can always return, running through zombies as usual. But I must know, my curiosity must be satisfied. Especially since you might be able to get something absolutely amazing in that room. However, I will have to spend ammo on a zombie to do it. Hey, buddy. Oh my Jesus. He took more hits than I... Oh no! Ah, I'm getting swarmed. Be gone, foul beast! Camera? Can you show me what's over there? Oh, screw it, I'll go in this room. Wait a minute. Oh, I'm in danger. Let's use this first aid spray. I thought... I guess that's only in the next game. There's supposed to be a visual effect when your character is low on health. Yes, I'll take the magazine. Thank you. I enjoy bullets. None of them look useful. I'm sorry. Uh, however, there is something very interesting right here, assuming I can navigate around this chair. Oh god, it's a zombie, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna shoot the hell out of it. Okay, it's dead now. And in the closet, we have identical shirts and shotgun shells. Sadly, Chris, being handicapped as he is, doesn't get the shotgun for a while yet. Keeper's Diary. May 9th, 1998. At night, we played poker with Scott the guard, alias, and Steve the researcher. Steve was really lucky, but I think he was cheating. What a scumbag. May 10th, 1998. Today, a high-ranking researcher asked me to take care of a new monster. It looks like a gorilla without any skin. They told me to feed them live food. When I threw in a pig, they were playing with it tearing off the pig's legs and pulling out the guts before they actually ate it. May 11th, 1998. Around 5 o'clock this morning, Scott came in and woke me up suddenly. He was wearing a protection suit that looks like a spacesuit. He told me to put one on as well. I heard there was an accident in the basement lab. It's no wonder, those researchers never rest, even at night. May 12th, 1998. I've been wearing this annoying spacesuit since yesterday. My skin grows musty and feels very itchy. By way of revenge, I didn't feed those dogs tonight. Now I feel better. May 13th, 1998. I went to the medical room because my back is all swollen and feels itchy. They put a big bandage on my back, and the doctor told me I did not need to wear the spacesuit anymore. I guess I can sleep well tonight. May 14th, 1998. When I woke up this morning, I found another blister on my foot. It was annoying, and I ended up dragging my foot as I went to the dog's pen. They have been quiet since morning, which is very unusual. I found that some of them had escaped. I'll be in real trouble if the higher-ups find out. May 15th, 1998. Even though I didn't feel well, I decided to go see Nancy. It's my first day off in a long time, but I was stopped by a guard on the way out. 
They say the company has ordered that no one leave the grounds. I can't even make a phone call. What kind of joke is this? May 16th, 1998. I heard a researcher who tried to escape from the mansion was shot last night. My entire body feels burning and itchy at night. When I was scratching the swelling on my arm, a lump of rotten flesh dropped off. What the hell is happening to me? May 19th, 1998. Fever gone, but itchy. Hungry and eat doggy food. Itchy, itchy Scott came. Ugly face, so killed him. Tasty. Four. Itchy, tasty. 